Coming up on the 4th of July edition of Raceline, Tony Stewart crew chief Mike Bukovaric explains how big that win was last week at Sonoma. It's, it's such a huge, huge win for, for Tony himself, um, for the company as a whole. I mean, this, this whole place is so elated. Uh, you know, we're, we're all so happy that finally got Tony back in victory lane. Martin Truex came so close to winning the Daytona 500. Do you guess he's been thinking about what he should have done to win? <laughs> yeah, of course you do. I mean, you lose by a foot at <laughs> Daytona 500. You're going to go back and think about it. So I know what I could have done to win, but in that situation, I thought I was doing the right thing. So live and learn, but uh, all in all, it's uh, a great race, and hopefully we can uh, put our clay out in front again. Even though the cars haven't changed at Daytona, Matt Kenseth says the drafting has. Uh, it is a lot different than, you know, before the Gen 6 car when we still did the tandem drafting and all that stuff. Once I got rid of the tandem and, and they got this car, the drafting certainly changed and be more of a, you know, conventional kind of old style group drafting. Kyle Busch disappointed that NASCAR didn't change the rules for super speedway racing before going back to Daytona. I was certainly hoping that we would see something, um, you know, coming off the race that we saw at Talladega. It wasn't probably um, A, very exciting racing and B, you know, it seemed pretty dangerous for all of us drivers. No real changes is not a welcoming sight for me, but um, it is what it is, so we'll go and crash some more. And Raceline youth reporter Garrett Maines on his pick to win Saturday night. Well, my pick is Denny Hamlin, but you can't leave out drivers like Dale Jr. and Chase Elliott who have shown their capabilities as super speedways. Now Joe, I don't know who ships your packages, but I put a FedEx label on this trophy because it's going to be signed, sealed, and delivered by Denny Hamlin. All that and more is coming your way this week on Raceline. Watch on MAV-TV, most all the regional sports channels, and on over 100 TV stations coast to coast. Stay up to date on NASCAR every week with Raceline.